Hey everyone, this is Major Batman at Linkira Studios, here to show you how to build your own kart racer level using Unity Splines tool. We'll create a fully custom track using the Shape Extrude feature, and it's perfect for any arcade racing game. Let's get started. I created a new project in Unity using Unity 6, and I dropped in Polygon Street Racer and Polygon Pro Racer into this pack. First, we'll want to go to Package Manager and search for the Spline tool. I already had it installed. You'll want to make sure you install your version 2.7.1 or higher to make use of the property paths. I added in a old Super Mario Kart as, as inspiration for what we'll create. Let's create an empty object and we'll call this Level 1. Right click on here, go down to Spline, Draw Splines tool. I changed the viewpoint to be top so we should be able to be lined up a bit better so we're going to start on the right side of this level and go over cut over around then we can click and drag to create a tangent which makes it a little easier up kind of a and then they finish in straight line and once the levels complete you can press escape and we have our level uh, you can edit the positioning of the splines by clicking and dragging them around doesn't look too bad uh, let's reset this to zero just so it shows up better we're going to drag the spline to level one let's create another empty and we're going to name this the road for the road we're going to go and add a spline extrude component to it we're going to add the spline container and we can see it kind of does something with the shape extrude. It's kind of hard to see due to the lighting, but what we'll find is that it's a circle. It's a, it's a spherical circle and is a little more difficult to drive on. And that's not what we want. The f nice part about using Unity splines is there is you can click on the sh shape type and change it to road. And the road, what it does is it is similar in that it has a flat and then a little bit of space on the side. So you can change the, the radius however you like, and it might require to have a vehicle on, on the road just to make sure. Let's find a Pro Racer cart that we can add here. I like this green one. I'm gonna add him to the, to the scene, and we can see that it is a little small. So we can go back to the road component and maybe change it to like four. Mm, fours, mm, maybe, let's change it to eight. That looks like we can drive around a bit more. Pretty cool. All right, it's per, it's now kind of a plain road, so we can adjust the material on here. The fortunate part is Polygon Pro Racer does include a nice material that we can leverage. So click on the circle, go to road, and let's choose the road mat 02. And we can see it adds kind of a middle line on it. Uh, the downside is the left side of the of the texture is way down here. We might want it up here, which might require some editing, um, but I'm okay with it as is. You can even go into the tiling and change that a little bit more. Downside is changing the the tiling doesn't make it smaller, which is what we'd want. So we got a, got we have a pretty cool level going on here at the moment, and we have the spline. So how do we get this to work? Well, one way we can do this is we can go in and let's add a camera to the vehicle. Uh, let's adjust fire a little bit. Um, make it go up and back a ways. So now we, this will follow the vehicle. If you'd like this to make, uh, to work a little bit better, you can take a look at a previous tutorial I have. I'll put the link up, up above. But for this, we're going to use a built-in feature of the splines to make a, a moving cart. All right, let's add a component and we'll go to spline animate. We'll copy the spline down to the spline container. And then we'll change the duration to let's say uh, 15 seconds. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. And we'll then also change the loop mode to ease in then continuous. What this does is it sort of makes it 
get up to speed and takes a second. And then with that, we can press play and we'll drive around this track, which is pretty cool. And I'll just keep doing it as often as you need. But we're not done yet. It's it's kind of it's kind of bland, isn't it? Let's add some variety to this. So let's add some trees. So we'll make label this the outer trees. And the idea with these trees is we want them to be on the outer scope of the level. So we're going to add a spline instantiate. We're going to bring in our spline container and let's add some several different types of trees. So I selected several trees that are found in the Polygon Pro Racer environment. You can change it to whatever you would like, but just for variety purpose, I'm gonna just use these trees. The cool part about this instantiation method is how customizable it is. So if you wanted only a set amount of the prefabs instantiated, you can use instance count. You can use an exact and you can choose. There can only be a hundred trees, maybe for performant reasons. Um, or if you wanted it to be a little more random, we can you can change the random amount. You can also change it to linear linear distance and set it to auto here. And then what I like to do is add a position offset. And what we're going what we'll do is on the x axis, which is kind of the left right, doing y doesn't make sense because we we're not messing with the height at the moment, and, or Z, which is uh, forward and backwards because we're already kind of getting that by following the spline. So let's add, change this to maybe something like 10 to 25, or maybe, maybe a little closer at eight. And that gives us variety in the spacing by setting it to random. And then in rotation, we can add a rotation offset and maybe we can set this from zero to 180. So they all look a little different depending upon which one selected. I'm not sure if it's just my eyes, but it does look like all the trees are the same. So let's change that. Let's change this so that each one is about 18%. I think this will give us a little more variety in, yep, yeah, that will do it. So that changed what the trees are looking like. And then we can also add a scale offset. So perhaps we change um, we change it from zero to two. And so we get some randomization of sizes. And then we can click randomize to randomize the different elements a little bit. And there we go. We have a variety of trees on the inside loop. And we could basically duplicate this and make these inner trees as well. And all we'd have to do is go into the position offset and change this from minus eight to minus 25. That's a bit close. So let's say it's maybe minus 25 to minus something like that. So when you're dealing with the negative numbers, you gotta have the, the, the smaller number on the left. So in this case, we'll do something like from minus 50 to minus 10. And I'll keep everything kind of set up in the way we want it. And we have the same rotation and sizing differences. And so now if we press play, we are driving in a rather fast. So as we can see, it's it's a bit fast. Um, and so we can we can change the time here. So let's let's slow this thing down. Maybe we do 60 seconds. And now he's able to drive. And it looks pretty cool. We have changing scope. We are driving around the track we created. We can do the same for different obstacles and uh, other environmental features. We're gonna add one more spline and we're gonna add it right here. So with this spline, we will add a another uh, instantiate, but let's add, make it a uh, barrier. Let's do barrier one. And so not quite set up the way we'd want it to be. So let's do four axis is X minus. And so now we have a bit, bit better setup and let's change linear distance and increase that until we get the, the width of the road. And now we have a barrier here that it follows along the same path, but only for a certain section. You can see how that's 
that's probably a little beneficial to have and set up. Hit play and test your track. You can tweak the curves, adjust at elevation, or add signs, cones, and barriers. That's it. You've got a working kart racing track built with Unity Spline System. Drop your questions or share your custom tracks in the comments. As always, have a great day and keep creating.